There we go. Just in case we need to end the Facebook Live and then um, be able to air it later on. That might be what would probably be the best thing to do. Oh, okay. I, I thought that was them coming back in, but that was you. You unmuted, unmuted yourself. Can you hear me pretty well, though, honey? I mean, I yes, got the sir, microphone I, right here. Yes, sir, I can. I do apologize. Like I said earlier, I am in the airport, so, uh, and this is actually the hour where everything really starts to move. I was going to say, quiet. yeah. It was quiet um, around 1 to maybe 3 o'clock in the morning, and now everything is opening up, so you want to hear some noise. I'm going to try to keep myself on mute. But Pastor Shannon, I want you to give him Jesus today. Oh, Come hallelujah. On. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Jesus. ma'am. Oh, you probably don't have your headphones, so. No, and um, the headphones that I, I did bring, they're good for listening, but they're not good for talking. Gotcha. So yes. that's why I didn't even bother to even worry my pretty little head about it. I know, that's right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It looks like Pastor Artino is back inside of here. And okay, I think we're about to get video. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I don't know what happened. I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen, can, Pastor Shannon, can we um, ask everybody that is watching all of our intercessors, can y'all do us a favor? Let's go into prayer right now so we can begin to bind up the hands of the enemy yes. that's trying to stop God's word from coming forth, trying to stop the praises, trying to discourage the church trying to discourage us we come against it in the name of jesus father we thank you right yes. now right where we are in the god, name of jesus i want you to begin to thank him god we thank you for your life we thank you for the breath in our bodies today god we thank you for waking us up this morning closing our right minds didn't have to do it and god we thank you for our church god we thank you for the people god we thank you for the celebration my god from zion god we thank you for celebrating God, we thank you for giving us the, the willpower to want to celebrate right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We come against every diabolical force right now that's trying to interrupt the praise, that's trying to interrupt the worship, trying to interrupt. We come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for what you have done. God, we thank you for how you're blessing. We thank you for how you're moving right now. And Father, when the, when the church comes back on God that they will be able to give us a new me? glory to God Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear us? Yes, yes, and prophetess mute is it. Yes. Not to mute. Yes, well, she's in the airport, so it's kind of loud, and the stu stuff are starting to get a little. Okay, thank you so much. But if you so right now we are going to welcome the children also to praise their God. But they were connected to the past. Yes. So thank you. Can you do this with our children? These are the young. These are the next generation, and we want to give them chance to praise God. The leader of the, the children. She, she's called Flora, the leader of the children. Amen.
So whatever gift that God has given you, please work with it. Amen. Amen. May God bless everybody, all those who have sat here. May God bless you. Wherever you are, please let me give Pastor opportunity so that he can lead us wherever we want to go to. Because every all the program that we hear, we have done, we will continue to share with you. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Happy Resurrection Sunday, Kenya! Hallelujah. We are so excited to be here with you. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, we are so excited that you that we're here with you. Yes, my wife she actually dropped out. She'll be back in. But we're so excited. Thank you so much for welcoming us into you guys' congregation. We enjoy the dancing and the singing from the children. It is amazing. Hallelujah. And we want to give a great God bless you to Pastor Jackson and Pastor Maureen. For doing an amazing job right there, and we want to thank you guys so much. I believe uh, I have to hear back from my wife in just a few seconds. Uh, 
Well, thank you so much. And Pastor Ortino, I'm going to give it back into your hands. I didn't know if you wanted me to share share now or if you wanted me to share later. Okay. We want to, to share later because we still have some programs to go and then if you are if you are ready to wait, it's no problem. So we want you to join us later as you also continue listening for the programs. We have in Kenya. Thank you so much. And where is the prophet so that she can also greet the church? Yes, I believe that she's trying to get back on now. I think she had uh, some technical difficulties with her phone. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. So let us continue with the program as we wait for you. You will give us the support later. Thank you. Amen. 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 God gave us the power to sing to them. And we will sing to our Lord once again.
like to receive for your wonderful God from of living God. I want to of living God. Amen. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, yes. I believe that my wife is, uh, she was speaking to someone in the airport, but you can unmute yourself, honey. God bless everyone. God bless you. Amen. Well, go ahead and greet the people, honey, over there in Kenya. They're waiting to hear from you. Oh, my goodness. To God be the glory. Listen, I am so excited. Excited to be in your presence. I'm glad. God bless you, everyone. I'm so glad. I wish I could be there with you guys, but I am there in spirit. I praise God for you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Pastor Shannon and I greet you with the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, I don't know how much more time uh, Prophetess Young actually have because she's actually boarding a plane soon to come be back with me here in Orlando, Florida. Amen. So she was out visiting family in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And so uh, she's actually in the airport flying back to be with her, the love of her life. Amen. <laughs> God bless you all. Hey, listen. Um, it, I don't know what time, I think you guys are seven hours ahead of us. And so if you just so happen to see us maybe yarn or stretch, because it is 5 a, it is 5.15 a.m. here in America, and we're celebrating Jesus Christ with you guys today. Amen. And so we're turning back over to Pastor Otino. Is it okay if I say something before I board? Oh, go go ahead, honey. I think so. God bless everyone. I wanted to release a word and pray over everyone before I get on the plane. Would that be okay, Pastor? Okay. Yes. God bless you. I was praying for everyone there. Okay. 
And God told me to tell each and every one of you that he was going to make a way for you. All you have to do is continue to keep trusting him. I want you to keep the faith and I want you to stay in the race. God said he loves you and he's going to come and see about you. Amen. Amen. So I would like for everyone to let's begin to give God glory and give him his praise because the way has already been made. Amen. Whatever you believe God for today, it's going to happen in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Do you trust God today? Amen. Continue to keep trusting God. I want you to understand that God loves you and he's making the way right now. I want you to get in your minds what you want God to do for you. Let's continue to keep trusting God. Let's stand on his word. Do you believe? Amen. Amen. Let's give God Amen. a praise clap. Come on. Woo! Amen. 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 Is it uh is it my turn now or are we we still got some more program to go? I think it is now that time. Yes. Okay, I think Pastor Ortino just gave me the signal. And so if you guys can for the next 60 seconds, I just want you to stand on your feet and give God a great praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You are Hallelujah. wonderful and you're wonderful to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Come on, just give him a great place. Give him a great praise. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You can guys, you guys can take your seats. Thank you so much. Now today, I just want to come in and encourage you on today. Because today we are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But I want you to understand that 
God has a plan for you in your life. And I know that sometimes things seem like that it has been rough and it seems like things have been tough, but God has a plan in store for you. The book of Mark says this, Mark chapter 10, verse 27. It says, and I'm reading from the Passion Version of the Bible. It says, Jesus looked at them and replied, with people, it is impossible. But with God, God makes things possible. Can you guys do Okay, go ahead. Yesu ndoge wa ngitir, kwa wacho ni ginia, dano kinyalo wano rekete, kinyasaye eba nyalo wane, kinyasaye eba nyalo giku kututu. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage you guys on today, just as my wife was just saying, to believe God for the impossible. The Bible said in the book of Genesis that Abraham and Sarah was trying to have children. And it seemed like that it was going to be impossible. But the angel of the Lord showed up and said to Abraham that he was going to have children. So Sarah heard the conversation between Abraham and the angel. And she said, God is going to wait until I'm well old in my age for me to birth a child. And Sarah laughed to herself. So, and so then the angel of the Lord asked, why did you laugh? And uh, he asked the question, is there anything too hard for the Lord? I want to encourage you on today to let you know that there is nothing too hard for God. Amen. When you see in scripture God asking, asking certain questions, you know God is about to move for you on your behalf. God asks Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? He asks 
Adam, where are you? Not that God don't know the answer to these questions, but he's challenging you to think. He asked Moses, Moses, what do you have in your hand? Moses said, I have a staff, and God said, use your staff. So when God starts asking you questions, I want you to understand that he's about to move for you on your behalf. Hallelujah. Listen, I know that the struggle sometimes seems like that is so hard. And it seems like that every time you take two steps forward, the enemy knocks you back three steps. But I'm here to tell you that God said to trust in me with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. The Bible says every good step is ordered by God. So I'm here to ask you and challenge you on today. What are you believing God for? God spoke to me this year at the top of the year. He said that the year 2022 is going to be the year that the impossible will become possible. Hallelujah. So I'm here to impart into you today faith because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I know that you don't see it yet, but that's the reason why God said to have the faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. He said, only thing you have to do is search for me. Seek me out while I can be found. And as soon as you knock on the door, the door shall be open for you. And I'm here to tell One Touch Ministries Kenya that when that door opens up, I need you to run through it. I, I need you to be able to run and be able to seek the face of God, pray and, and pray earnestly and believe that God is going to move for you on your behalf. Hallelujah. 
When you pray, you're praying. Praying is your communication with God. And I'm the kind of person to believe that if you speak to someone, that they're going to speak back to you. And when God speaks back to you, God uh, uh, gives you uh, a, a divine intervention to know exactly how to be able to move. So that's where the ordering of the steps come into place. And so when we pray, it is your communication with God. Just like how I'm talking to you by Zoom, back and forth, when I pray, I communicate with him directly. So communication is a two-way street. Sometimes you talk Go ahead, interpret. <laughs> so when you talk, God listens. And when God speaks, you listen. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you don't know of. God will show you things to come if you have faith, trust, and believe that he can do the impossible. Amen. The Bible says all things are, are possible for them that believe, and you shall receive them. Uh, it, it says here in Matthew 21 and 22, in all things whatsoever you ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. Amen. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock 
and the door shall be open to you. Again, I say unto you, here's another scripture. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that you ask for, it shall be done for you from my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. So I said all those scriptures to say communication with God is top priority. And I know during this time, especially since COVID and everything else, that a lot of people were um, concerned about their health. And so what God showed me is that through prayer, prayer, prayer provides protection. It says, watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Amen. So I want you to uh, realize that through your prayers, prayers provide protection for you through any sickness, any disease, any malady, any malfunction. God will protect you. God will protect your family. God will protect your children. God will protect your marriage. God will protect your job and your life. God will protect your home and your business. So if you don't get anything out of today's message, I want you to believe that God is a protector. Hallelujah. So today, number one, the first point of today is that communication with God is top priority. Number two, prayer provides protection. And then also, I want to leave with you today. Also, I want to leave with you today this one last thing. The, the Bible says that he is our rock. He is our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The 
the Lord, he is the strength of our life. And whom shall we be afraid? When the wicked and the foes came upon us to try to eat our flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host shall encamp around us, but God shall always be for us. And if our God is for us, who can be against us? So I want to encourage you on this Resurrection Sunday. That God is for you. And nothing in the world can stop you. I just had to send this encouraging word to you today. I know it's not the regular message about Jesus dying on a cross. But I wanted to encourage your spirits to lift you up to know that all things are possible through Christ Jesus. And if you believe that all things are possible through Christ Jesus, I want you to give God a big clap of praise for the next 10 seconds. Hallelujah. Do you know by clapping your hands, it steals the enemy? That means that it confuses the enemy. And so anytime the enemy tries to come and attack your mind, begin to clap your hands and open up your mouth and give God a praise because the enemy flees when you praise. One, th one thing that the enemy tries to do, he tries to attack you in your mind. And if he tries to attack in your mind to tell you that you're nobody, that you're no good, then the enemy will cause you to lose your mind. But the Bible says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. So if you have the mind of Christ, then the enemy can't get into your mind. And so again, hallelujah. So that, again, that's why we have to pray and cover our minds. Cover our thoughts. And pray and ask God to wash us in his blood, his cleansing blood that he died for us over 2,000 years ago. 
Hallelujah. And so on today, I'm going to end my message with this. That I want to speak the sevenfold blessings over to you, our friends and family in Kenya. Amen. Bless. Amen. So, number one, it, I speak health to you and your family. Our God, He is a healer. Number two, I speak deliverance from any habits that you may have in your life. Our God is a deliverer. Now, here we go. I need you to place your hand on top of your head. I speak peace to your mind about anything that may be disturbing you today or hurting you today in your mind. I speak, number four, I speak salvation to any friend or loved one that you've been praying for. Now put your hand on your heart. And I speak comfort for any person that's hurting, lonely, bereaved, or confused. And just lastly, the last two, I just want everyone to raise their both their hands. Number six, I speak finances, debt cancellation, prosperity, economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And then lastly, I speak anointing and promotion in your life to complete your assignment and to move forward in your purpose. God has a great purpose for each and every one of you sitting here in this church. And I believe it in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. I pass it. I want to thank you again, Pastor Ortino, Pastor Jackson, and Pastor uh, Maureen. Thank you so much for inviting us into your lovely congregation to be able to speak on today. God has a mighty work for you two to do. Is it possible that you guys can stand in front of the camera, you two? Mm 
Can you see them? Yes, I can see them, yes. Okay, so the, the, those who those are working in this job, they are leading the congregation. I hope you can see them. I don't see all of them. I, I don't see all of them, but I do see some of them, yes. I think that I see the majority, if you do. I don't know if you can tilt the camera up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yes, perfect. Okay, so do you want to say something? Yes. And I I I didn't hear you say it one more time. Say that they will say their name and uh, something on the message that we you have just heard today. Is yes. That okay? Yes, that's okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, man of God, for the word. And we are so much happy to introduce for you all of our members in this church. We are with the board members. As I told you, we have three churches. The one in the border, Kenya, Tanzania border, and the one in Lake Victoria. All of them are, now, are here now today. And uh, we all agree to work together. We all agree to share the same message about Jesus Christ. Yes. And we all agree to work under the ministry of One Touch Ministry International of Kenya under the leadership of you and uh, the other members in America. So thank you so much. As I start here, we are uh, uh, what? My name is Infanus Sedina. Yes. Is Infanus? Yes. Infanus Sedina from Tanzania Church or Kenya, Tanzania border. Tanzania, all right. Amen. So is the representative is the development represent the development in church in Tanzania church. Amen. Amen. Our name is Jennifer Abiyako Osel. Amen. And is the women leader in the Tanzania Kenya Border Church? Okay. My next artist is Lamona from this church, uh, the women leader of the three churches. Uh, this is Lamona, the overall women leader for the three churches. Mary Otwaken. And she has something to share this. Please pass my greeting to your wife. And let her stand with us in prayer. And we will always continue praying for her. And where we are right now. We have no women woman leader. And we want to thank the Almighty Father. Because he has provided your wife to stand with the church. We are so happy and we are grateful for her. We are only requesting her to come to Kenya so that they can beat us. We, 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 we have to meet and know each other face to face. We are so happy. 
You, God bless you. Yes. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you so much. Wow. Yes, I'm so happy. I want to thank Almighty Father for the message of today. I'm blessed. I don't think I do My name is John. Pastor John Otiero, I'm a man of God in Lake Victoria. I work in Lake Victoria Church. Wow. Well, now actually, we just do to know what to call up and decide what to work in the same with the same with the same with the same with the same. I want to believe that everything that we are praying, let us give unto our Lord so that God can bless us. Secondly, I want us to pray together as men of God who will continue praying for you. So please also pray for us so that we can work together in this ministry. Lastly, I want to welcome you in Kenya so that you can teach us in a face-to-face -face conversation. Yes. May God bless you and the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. I can't wait. 
Oh, Papi yes. Praise the Lord. We are all going to hear of one of I want to thank you today. For every, for every word that you have taught us this morning, I want to join in our meeting. Because they said that uh, it is a wonderful message of God. We are so happy to know you again. And we are glad to have you today. We are glad to I know we will work together in this. Let the for the beginning. Continue supporting this service. We will continue with the teaching. We will work together in the so that we can spread the same message across Africa. What do you want to watch it? Because we are messengers of Christ, and we need to work to the whole world preaching. The message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor John Wasonga Agita. I want to watch I work here in the River Church. May God bless you wherever you are. What about you? Welcome you in Kenya. Yeah. Please pass our greeting to your family. Somebody good. May God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Pastor Peter Masaka. I work here in the region. And they request so that you can come to the river here. We meet you face to face so that you can talk to us and ask you questions and you give us answers. And please, when you are coming, come with your wife so that we can work together as a family. We pray for you to have good health so that we can organize and support this business yeah. together. Yes. Amen. 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 My name is Teresa Achiel Utiel. I want to thank you for the summer. I'm so happy for the encouragement that uh, our beloved mom has given us. I want to pray for her so that she can come to Kenya to meet uh, the good women here. Yes. Okay, uh, the, the major agenda is that let us pray for one another. Uh, you also please organize so that you can come to Kenya to continue blessing us with your hearts. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Wow. God bless Amen. everybody. Pastor. God bless you. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say to each and every person, we appreciate you guys so much. And we ask God to continue to. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. God bless you, Pastor. I'm sorry. Yes. No Praise God, everybody. I just wanted to say to each and every person, we ask God to continue to bless you. Even on this week that you begin to see God's hand move in your life and in your homes. We pray that God does exactly what needs to be done in your life. We pray that God does something something special for you 
on this week. Everything that you've been asking God for, we're asking God to just do it for you. And we trust God with you guys. We stand with you guys. So if you can stand to your feet and just proclaim that you trust God. If you can stand up on your feet and just say, I trust God. 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 Amen. God bless you guys. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Prophetess. You are so welcome. Thank you so much, Prophetess. And we are so much happy for the word of encouragement. Everybody here wants you and the pastor to come and see us. We want to meet you here in Kenya. And our people are expecting at the end of this year. I know we are going to encounter the great things in the house of God. May God bless you so much. And we are also praying God. Children praying God. All people praying God. Everybody here is praying God. And we are really thank God for connecting us together. We are really thank God. Now we are going to start work to get work together. We are now family. Yes, we are. We are now family. That's why we need you now to come. We also believe that one day, one time, we will also come there. We will come there to, to preach the word of God. To preach the living God. Yes. Because that is the mandate that we have. That is the work that we now to do. But no, a to go all in the world, to go all parts of the world to preach the gospel. But the because the gospel is the power. It indeed It's the strength of our joy. We are so much happy, man of God. Amen. These people, we are so much happy. But I don't know what we are We are just coming to end the service. Because as from on Friday, Saturday, and, 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 and today, we have been we have been, here. We have been here. Only praising God. Giving, giving God glory and honor. So thank you so much. Thank you. May God bless you so much abundantly. I'm so much happy with my pastors. Yes. Remind them in prayer. Yes. And I know our God is helpful. Whatever we ask in the name of Jesus Christ is possible. I know the needs of a pastor is now possible. The need of our pastor now possible. 
Because there is no impossible in the house of God. We are now we are we are now conquering the house of God. Was the Lodge and in the Yesu Christo. And now we are going to start celebrating what the Lord is doing. Kendo wadi peto di por isigala dala e wat e gimanya sai otido. Our women in the house of God is going to start celebrating because the Lord has already opened the way. Mine mane kanisa di mele di por di kendo sai oya ne gijo. All of our pastor is now going to celebrate now because the Lord has already made their way. Because I know the Lord has called us in the eye calling job. This is the high calling God job. And I know that the Lord is going to make a way for us. And we are going to start receiving from our Lord Jesus Christ. Because the, devil, because the devil has already closed our door. As today the devil, the Lord has opened our door. May God bless you, church. May God bless everyone. Thank you so much. If you have something to say, you can say it is your time. Amen. Amen. The last thing that I just want to be able to say is that number one, Pastor Jackson, you have done a phenomenal job with of the churches in the three locations. And today we want to proclaim that this is the official launch and official gathering uh, in the headquarters of One Touch Ministries Kenya. So I'm standing and believing God with you guys that before the end of this year, my wife and I are going to attempt to as much as possible to get there to Kenya to greet each every one of you personally. We have a long stretch ahead of us. But we're going to believe and trust God. Remember the message today. It may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Amen. So the impossible is about to become possible for all of us this year. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I am done. We're done. Thank you so much. And I believe you said this is the conclusion of the service, correct? Yes. All right. Well, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may God face shine upon you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Now, Father God, I pray that you bless and protect these, your people, the, the rest of this day, the rest of this week, the rest of this month, and the rest of this year. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Man of God, 
You are most welcome. Bye. Thank you. Aya. Apani wati ko. Amen. Bet ni kanya to en norma. Bye. Pero ni kanya ko en norma. Don mana di. E ko er no di koro o di to wan ko wan was it tipo watch majulong manwas kwari to ke do wa mora hinya kum bidro ke di ke wa sai an ko tuno ni akao adu ko tu ne kamano miago mondo ke digi biti ti ke jana no ka sabe ke ko sai mi ni kwete ne e beta ya beta ja ka to nor ti kwari ka ba cha ka ko ya de re wa no jo ka ni te ko to ji u sa da ka do jo ka kai e ti ko ka i da ka i pure wa no si u sa da ka e mi sa ko ko go no de ra ko de ra ko so ka ma no ji te ada ji ka mo do wa ko sa da ka e si ka ma o ko no te ke sa da ka